Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is the troubleshooting of a spark ignition control system on older boilers, furnaces, and some tankless water heaters. Right, this right here is not a thermocouple and it's not a flame sensor. This is actually a mercury flame sensor. So this does not have electricity going through it. When this heats up, it's actually sending mercury through this tube over to a diaphragm in the relay, opening and closing contacts. This right here is a spark relay. And what its job is, is to have 24 volts come in and 6,000 volts come out right here and come over to the spark rod and jump across over to the pilot housing, which is going to ignite the gas coming out. Here's an up close view of the pilot relay right here. It's high voltage, low amperage. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get started. I have this spark rod right here very close to its own ground. All right, so instead of uh, sparking it from here to right there where it normally is sparking, waiting for the gas to come out the pilot tube right here, it's going to spark right here. All right, so, so that's what I have. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn the voltage on, the 24 volts, to the transformer, and we're going to end up having a, about a 6,000. A volt spark right across here. It's going to do it intermittently. It's All right, so you see that spark right there? That is what is going to occur right at the pilot tube right here. So uh, what we have here is I'm just going to show you you have one, two, three, and four. And on this one, we have our multimeter set to ohms. I'm actually going to turn it off, turn it back on, make sure it doesn't turn off on us while we're working here. We're going to go ahead and take a resistance reading between 3 and 4. You see we have 0 ohms of resistance right now. Now we look between 2 and 4, and we have mega ohms, which and it's OL. Okay, so that's over limit. So this is the normally open set of contacts. This is the normally closed set of contacts. So I'm just going to first power this pilot relay directly off of the transformer. And then after that, I'm actually going to wire it into the mercury flame sensor and heat this with a torch just like it is normally wired in the field and how it works in the field. First, though, I just want to show you what that spark looks like when you directly power the pilot relay. Uh, with 24 volts. Here's another one, up a little up close, um, just to see what that looks like. Okay, pretty simple. So you can see the 6,000 volt spark right there, and that is going to ignite the pilot gas. So the same time that this pilot relay is being powered right here you're going to have 24 volts going to the pilot valve on on the gas valve. Now, we're going to wire it just like we would in the field. All right, let me explain what we have going on here. We have the 24 volt transformer. We have the power coming off here and it's coming through the thermostat wire over to the mercury flame sensor relay. It's going to the normally closed switch right here. Then it goes over to the pilot relay it goes through the pilot relay and comes back through the common wire at the transformer. All right, so that's going to go ahead and spark right here. At the same time that this is getting power, we're going to have two power wires coming over to the pilot valve, all right? So that the pilot part of the gas valve, and it's going to send gas through the pilot tube, and the spark is going to ignite it. Once it gets ignited, you're going to have this rod right here. The mercury-filled rod is going to heat up then sending pressure through this rod right here back to the mercury switch and then what it's going to do is it's going to open up these contacts and it's going to close these contacts and so what happens is you actually have a wire coming from here to the main gas valve and then you have a common coming from here to the main gas valve so you'll have a, your pilot lit and then you're going to stop sparking and you're going to send 24 volts to the main gas valve so the way that we're going to prove that here, and we're going to show that, uh, is we're just going to go ahead and clip right there. That will be our 24 volt power, and our common will be right here. 
All right. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, and uh, we'll be underway. Let's see, we have 29 volts now. Now, wait a second. This is going to cool down, right? And then it's going to start re-sparking again, as if it lost the flame. So we'll do it again. Um, but basically, we are getting 24 volts from here of the mercury switch to here, all right? And that's how we're we're checking for voltage on this with our common, okay? At the same time, this part of the switch is opening up, and it no longer sparks. All right, so now the mercury is going to cool down and then once again it's sparking. All right, so how to troubleshoot this? Um, the same rules apply for uh, proving a flame. You wanna make sure that this is cleaned with unsoaped steel wool, like a fine coarse. All right, so something like this right here. Uh, it's hot right now, but basically you're just going to hold that and the power is off and you're gonna clean this off. All right, you're also gonna clean the sparker right here, this rod and the inside of the uh, pilot housing right here. Now you're going to you're going to clean all that up to make sure that you're getting a good spark for grounding sake. You want to make sure this is clean enough to get a spark from here to here. That gap is usually about an eighth of an inch. If you're heating this up, this rod right here, but this normally closed switch does not open and this normally open switch does not close, then you want to start looking at replacing this. Uh, mercury flame sensor right here. If you're getting 24 volts to the uh, spark relay and you're not getting a spark over here, you wanna you know, turn the power off. Once again, clean this up, make sure the gap is tight. You could also do a little trial just coming from right here to the ground right here and just keep it really close. Maybe, you know, like I said, an eighth of an inch away from the ground right here. See if there's any spark. All right, you know, because you can get to this. This might be in an enclosed area, hard to get to. So that's a way to test this out. Uh, you won't necessarily get any resistance reading on here because there's a circuit board underneath. It's not just a coil. It goes into a circuit board. Uh, so you want to actually go ahead and operate this in order to see if it's sparking. Make sure you don't touch the wire because you don't want to get shocked. Uh, it is high voltage, low amperage, high voltage. All right, but, uh, but that's how it works. You know, you could uh, replace this setup with a newer setup, a newer uh, spark ignition uh, system. But uh, this is what was in a lot of the really older tankless water heaters and boilers, you know, with the, they were actually powered off of the burner taps, the B1 and the B2, all right, on the Aquastat relays, all right. But uh, yeah, you could replace these, or you could just replace one component in them, you know, such as the mercury flame sensor or the pilot relight, or once again, you can go with a spark ignition control board and you have your uh, flame sensor and pilot assembly. So you might end up just replacing all of that. But, all right, so I just wanted to kind of go over that just so you knew what it was when you ran into it. This is not a normal thermal couple that sends. Uh, millivolts DC to the gas valve. This is actually uh, providing force to this relay, opening and closing contacts in this mercury flame sensor relay switch. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself and we'll see you next time at EC Service Tech Channel.